to get. Is that how you speak to me? Was I shouting or was I you're, you're rude, Fina. Was I you shouting? Are rude. You are rude. How? You are rude. How? You don't know how to talk to me. When you said it, and I said, you true. want to go down. Is that how you talk? Is, what, what kind of talk is that? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hmm, what's going on with our Goofy ship? Is the ship about to sink or capsize? Last night, Goofy and Fina fought again. Remember they had a big fight on Saturday. What really happened this time was that after their mini mistakes, Chumsy emerged as the overall winner. And I think Fina was sad about her loss, which is very normal. I mean, nobody wants to lose. And also because she was up for eviction. And according to her, she has been up six times. So she was really in her feelings. She went to the garden to stay and Groovy came trying to console her. Then Ellenswag came to the garden and asked who would turn Poundu. Groovy stood up to leave. Then Fina asked him, why would he be the one to turn the Poundu? Like, why would he be the one to go and turn the Poundu? Groovy was like, so you don't want me to do it? Fina told him to carry microphone and announce it because it seems like Groovy was raising his voice and Eloswag and other housemates were there. So they were hearing the whole conversation. That really got Groovy pissed. He felt Fina spoke to him rudely and according to him, she doesn't know how to talk. He was wondering why she always complains about losing when they play in teams and not individually. And also, Fina was transferring aggression. Fina said Groovy did not try to console her. And it was okay for her to be in her feelings whenever she loses a tax. Because she didn't come to the house to play. And she felt she had someone she can talk to whenever she's down. So Fina told Chi Chi, because Chi Chi was trying to settle them, that she feels there is something else in Groovy's mind. Because her instincts doesn't lie to her. It doesn't deceive her. And she feels another girl is in Groovy's eyes from the way he's behaving because she knows he's attracted to Aura and she knows who Groovy is eyeing. So Groovy and Fina did not really get to trash out their issues that night. Groovy even slept on Amaka's bed. So the next morning, Groovy was in the kitchen making breakfast because he and his babe, Fina, are still quarreling, obviously. Chomzi asked Groovy if he cannot cook and she offered to help. Groovy was like, no, don't worry. Chomzi then asked Groovy that, are you and your girlfriend quarreling again? Groovy replied her and said, you too like gossip. If you are not discussing it with anyone, then it's not gossip. Groovy then asked Chomzi, how far are you and your boyfriend? That was when I coded the person Fina said Groovy was eyeing. Guys, could Groovy still have his eyes on Chomzi? What do you think? Do you think Groovy still has his eyes on Chomzi? Because looking at what really caused their fight and the way Groovy responded and reacted, which was not really his usual way, Groovy was really vocal when they were having that argument and that's not really the kind of person Groovy was. Even when he was with Beauty, with all the provocations, I've never seen Groovy that vocal around Beauty. It was something like he was kind of fed up with the whole relationship, you know, that kind of attitude now. Maybe Fina was right for saying Groovy has his eye on another girl. Because judging from the whole explanations, Elo Swag did not come straight to Groovy to ask him to turn the pound though. He asked generally, and Groovy stood up. Even when Dotun offered to help, he insisted that he will help Dotun or he will assist Dotun. But Groovy, I don't understand. Your girl was moody, your girl was down, your girl was sad. And somebody comes to say, who wants to turn pound do? Are you supposed to stand up to go and turn the pound do? Like, even when somebody else offered to help. So I'm, I'm sure that was one of the things, that was the main reason why Fina was angry. So it was, it's, it's kind of, I, I really agree. And I, I agree with Fina when she's saying he has his eye on someone because the attitude was funny. But Fina is not supposed to be really angry. The way Groovy moved on after Beauty left, he would definitely move on to another person when he's tired. Because Groovy go reach everybody. And if at all, he still has his eyes on Chumzi. Uh -uh. Let the ship begin to sail. We are here to share them on. I'm glad Fina understands this because she said it herself. Even Kerr said during an interview that Groovy doesn't really like Fina. And he's just playing the game. He's using her and riding on her popularity. And it's surprising that of all the girls in the house, he decided to date Fina. But cares, what's wrong with Fina? I don't understand that last statement too. Which one is of all the girls in the house, he decided to date Fina? 
feel that is beautiful enough. But I totally agree with other things Kes said about Groovy not really liking Fina and using and using and riding on her popularity because most of the housemates perceives Fina as being strong outside because she has been up for evictions and she has been safe all the time. So that kind of makes sense. Even Cheesy advise Groovy to stick with Fina because she's a strong contender. But I don't see this Groovy and Fina ship walking outside the house, shall we? And I think Fina knows this. So if you were a Groovy shipper, please start praying for your ship from capsizing. No. <laughs> you all know now, I'm not a shipper, but I believe in good friendship inside the house. Then when you guys go out of the house, you will know if you really want to date me person no go use your heart to strategy. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell to get updated and notified when I drop a new video. See you in the next.